Hey guys and welcome back to another Axel 72 video and today I'm here with another interview and I'm here with James Hennigan. How are you lad? I'm good, thanks mate. Glad to be speaking to you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I very much appreciate you doing this interview mate. Anytime mate, anytime. Mm -hmm. And am I right in, I'm going to list a few stats and hopefully I'm all got them all right. All right. Yeah. So you're 7-0, and you're a middleweight and you're 24, yeah? Yeah, correct. Alright, great. So if you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video. And let's get straight into it. So the question which I always like to start off with is who inspired you to get into boxing? To be honest with you, there's there's no specific person, it's just you know, as a kid, like most kids, you either get into football or something else and mm -hmm. I weren't the best at football, <laughs> so didn't leave me with many other options really, mate. Right, okay. So you've but you always wanted to go down the athletic route. Yeah, definitely. There's always something, you know. I think I just otherwise I'd, I'd be sat in the house a bit bored, really. And mm -hmm. when I went to boxing, I'd done it, done it for a few months, and then didn't really take to it straight away. And then I come back to it a few months later, and, and I really left it. Then it's been doing it ever since. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you started? I was 11, 12, something like that. Yeah, it sounds a bit younger. Yeah, yeah, it's a similar age to where a lot of people start. Yeah. All right, so you then went down the amateur career like everybody else. And yeah. do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight? Yeah, my first amateur fight, um, I'd only been in the gym about a month, two months. I, I probably wasn't ready to fight. I was overweight, but right. I just loved it. And they threw me in and I got beat. Right. And I remember thinking, fuck, see, like, <laughs> it's not looking good. But then, you know, I went on to win a lot more after that in a row. So right. it was... It was a learning curve. Mm -hmm, definitely. So, what would you say is your biggest achievement from the amateurs? Mm, from the amateurs, um, the one that sticks out the most was, I think, in like the six or seven fights I boxed. A two-time, three-time national champion in the championships. And I think oh, wow. everyone sort of, sort of wrote me off as not having a chance because mm -hmm. I'd only had seven fights and the kid probably had 20, 25 and, mm -hmm. and I beat him and beat, beat him easy really so oh, wow. I think play. I think that's one that sticks out to me is because it was one way I weren't expected to win definitely so how many about if you can remember how many amateur fights did you have oh 40, 45 maybe yeah it seems like a, a good number realistically yeah I would have liked to have more but as you get older you know you, in the area I think I boxed everyone at my weight and then it was hard to get fights outside the area yeah. so for 45, 40, it's good, good enough. It mm -hmm. got, me, got me far enough. Yeah, that's a good number. So that kind of does, in a way, answer my next question of why did you turn pro when you did? Is it just because you ran out of opposition? Yeah, sort of. And I think well, once, because they, they took the head guards off the, the amateurs. And, oh, right. And for me, it's the head guards off the amateurs, it's 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 not far off the pro game. Yeah, pretty much. So I think if, 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 if I'm taking the same type of punishment and... I might as well learn the pro style and, and get a little head start a bit younger. Mm -hmm. So you went on to then have a few pro fights. And so what would you say is the differences between the amateur and the pro fighting scene, other than the head guards? It's, much, it's the physicality of it. You know, like even when you're against some of the journeymen, you can feel the strength of them physically. And you, you're not really used to the amateurs because it's more just speed and in and out, in and out. But you feel the strength and... And the weight of the fellas you're in there with, you know, you're in there big, like 11, 12 stone fellas in my case, and you, you've, got, you've got to learn to, to get used to that quickly. Mm -hmm, definitely. So you've had seven fights, all been victories, but what mm. would you say has been your best performance in a fight? Um, I think me, Frank Warren, debut last April mm -hmm. against Dwayne Grant. You know, mm -hmm. he, he was a tricky customer. He'd, he'd be the prospect who was 6 and over for it took rounds off good fighters so and it was my Frank Warren debut and it was mm -hmm. it was in the height of COVID so it was behind closed doors, no one was allowed in. It was it was it was where I feel like I performed best because I had to step up in and, and show me class. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. That's where I, that's where I heard you from. That was a very impressive yeah. performance. Thank you. Try <laughs> <laughs> So you then now have a fight confirmed for the twenty fourth of September. Have you started a camp or up the intensity for that fight? Yeah, I mean we we're always training anyway, we can we out because mm -hmm. I just get bored if not, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it just makes it easier when you go into a camp if you've already been you've had a base of fitness and so we started camp about three weeks ago, seven mm -hmm. weeks camp it was. So Started camp and then we're flying now. We're getting all the sparring in. We're getting good sparring and 
I think got like it's four weeks tomorrow, so mm-hmm. it's getting there now. Getting yeah, getting to the good bit of camp. Off, no? Yes. And yeah. So, am I right in saying uh, this fight is your first six rounder? Yeah, that's right. We've meant to have been have a few six rounders, and because my last three fights have they've all been short notice. Like I've not more than a three week camp for the last right. three of them, so it's it's been very rushed, and we struggled to get opponents to take six rounds. But this time we've got a full camp, six rounds. So. Hopefully, I'm looking to put a, like a best performance on really with it. Mm-hmm, definitely. So, have you done anything different ahead of this fight due to the fact that it's six rounds? Um, just, just not really to be honest. Because we always spar like we're doing six, six, eight rounds anyway. So, mm-hmm. for me, it's, it's no different. But just mainly, we've got longer to prepare, which is obviously better. And nice. I think any, anyone who's been in the ring with me will probably tell you I probably suit them all rounds. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Are you possibly trying to have another fight this year before the end of the year? Yeah, I think we, we want another two or three at least. Mm. We want to finish the year 10 and hour if, if possible and, and stay busy and then push on for the big fights then. Mm-hmm. Saying you're young, you're definitely uh, showing your eagerness to just keep getting out there and fighting, which I do like to see. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's the fun part, as, as everyone <laughs> says. Yeah. You know, the training's the horrible part and the dieting, but mm-hmm. you get in there and you're fighting. That's the easier part, really. Mm-hmm. And you said this last fight you just had was your uh, Frank Warren and BT Sport debut. What is it like working with both Frank Warren and BT Sport? Yeah, it's good. You know, I think I think every boxer turns over wants to work with some type of major promoter. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I feel lucky and grateful that I'm in a position where I am now. And you know, I think hopefully I keep putting on the performances. They'll keep showing me on the big stage, and that's what I've got to do. Come. September 24th and show us a show why I'm here. Definitely. And so you are just kind of at the, the start of your career, just having your first six rounder. Mm. And I was wondering how far do you think you can go in the sport? You know, it, it's a tough sport and I think everyone says they want to win a world title and mm-hmm. I'd, be, I'd be silly if I said I didn't want to win the same. And Definitely. I think, you know, I think I, I think I can with the right guidance. And this, I think for me, the sport's about time and everything. You've got to time everything right. Mm-hmm. When you take the step ups, the right opponents, you know, there's a lot of things that have to come together. And, but I believe with the right people behind me and the right team, I can get there and I can definitely do some good things in the sport. Definitely. And so you've got this fight coming up on September 24th, not too far away now, like you said, about four weeks away. And mm-hmm. why should people come and watch you fight? What makes you different to everybody else? Um, I think my style, you know, it's. Mm-hmm. It's easy on the eye. I, I box with my hands down most of the time. I react mm-hmm. without any sort of defence. I'll, I'll I'll see things as it comes, and you know it's a bit more risky. And it's you know you walk into a gym and the first thing you tell you is to keep your hands up, and mm-hmm. that's exactly what I don't do because mm-hmm. I react better with them down. So right. the, the fact that I can and people who've been in the ring with me will tell you I can I can pretty much land from from anywhere with my hands down. I can react to things you probably wouldn't expect. So you, you probably see something different from me. And, I think my style does attract people to watch because you don't see it often. Mm-hmm, definitely. All right. And I'll leave it with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? Um, just my sponsor, you know, Virtue Water, Applied Nutrition, Healthy Box, Apex Management, you know, all them people they all do a lot of things for me. So I'm grateful for them. Mm-hmm, definitely. All right. Well, thank you very much for doing this interview, mate. Thanks. Yes been a pleasure great and i'm sure with that mindset that you do carry along with you that it won't be too far until you are fighting for them at world title belts hopefully that's the plan mate to keep mm-hmm. it going and we'll see yes and maybe when you are fighting for these belts we can come back and do a return interview yeah definitely be good all right great well like the video if you didn't need like the video subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching